How long do you think XARP support will last? How long will the trial last? Will this affect the state of the SEC? We will answer all these questions in today's video. Ripple Labs continues to battle the Securities and Exchange Commission, and their most recent filing is no different, as they immediately respond to the SEC's letter of supplemental authority over the regulator's motion for summary judgment with a confident and forceful rebuttal. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, recently referenced to a separate enforcement action against investment advice company Commonwealth Equity Services to support its case in the continuing legal struggle between the SEC and Ripple Labs. However, Ripple's legal team has replied quickly, claiming that the reference decision has no bearing on their fair notice position. The SEC's complaint against Ripple Labs, SEC v. Ripple Labs in et al claims that the business and two of its executives, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson, raised more than $1.03 billion in an unregistered continuing digital asset securities offering. One of Ripple's key claims is that the SEC did not give enough notice before to bringing the securities fraud action in December 2020. The SEC wrote to the judge presiding over the matter on April 11, highlighting the Commonwealth finding which ruled that a long-established court precedent provides enough fair notice. The SEC stated that the precedent that led to the formulation of the Howey test provided Ripple Labs with ample notice of what defines a security. The SEC also claimed that their case against Commonwealth gives them more power to invalidate Ripple's fair notice position. However, on April 13, Ripple's legal team submitted a response contending that the Commonwealth decision reference does not offer further justification for dismissing their fair notice position. The letter to District Judge Annalisa Torres highlighted the contrast between the two instances. Ripple's defense emphasized the Commonwealth case's lack of contemporaneous evidence, whereas Ripple's situation involves abundant evidence, including communications from the SEC to third parties, demonstrating that reasonable market participants did not regard Ripple's offers and sales of XRP as and sales of XRP as investment contracts. Furthermore, Ripple's statement stressed that the key question in their lawsuit is whether the Securities Act applies to their XRP offers and sells. The legal team contended that the sex reference to an unbroken chain of district court decisions rejecting fair notice defenses is irrelevant since the court had already rejected the sex reliance on such instances. Ripple's defense argued that the closest case, Upton, is binding precedent, and that it found in favor of the defendant's fair notice claim, encouraging the court to do the same. Following the outcome of the Ripple v. Sec lawsuit, XRP is expected to be one of the best performing assets. Ben Armstrong, often known as BitBoy, is a vocal supporter of this story. The famous crypto influencer recently said that the resolution of the legal case will herald a fresh wave of profit for XRP investors who have been patient throughout the experience. On Wednesday, BitBoy turned to Twitter to voice his thoughts, recalling a well-known remark ascribed to several persons, including philosopher Seneca. He suggested that the result of the Ripple v. Seek lawsuit will signal the end of one chapter and the start of another. The a Ripple case might be resolved at any time. When one thing comes to an end, it marks the start of something else. In this situation, the new thing is that if you stick with excerpt and them, you will become wealthier, Parmi. You will become wealthy. It's almost time for you to grab your rations. According to him, the next chapter will begin with the development of large money for XRP investors who endured the protracted legal processes with the SEC. He urged the XRP army to persevere, declaring that the moment had come to realize the benefits of their dedication. Furthermore, BitBoy said that he expects the Ripple and SEC legal conflict to be resolved shortly. However, the XRP community is skeptical of this claim since the popular crypto influencer earlier stated that the litigation will conclude in September 2020, a prediction that did not come true. To soothe any doubts, BitBoy admitted that his September 2021 prophecy did not come true. 
He did, however, clarify that his recent words were not simply forecasts, but rather based on true knowledge, since the trial schedule is likely to complete soon. As previously reported, Attorney John Deaton predicted that a decision will be issued on or about May 6. I love how people are bashing me for claiming that the Ripple case would be resolved shortly. I projected that it will end in September 2020. 1. That's the only time I've ever specified a date. It did not occur. The Oxert matter will be resolved shortly. It's not a forecast. Dudes. It's the conclusion of the trial calendar. A District of Massachusetts court released a ruling in the case against Commonwealth Equity Services, LC, on April 7, 2023, allowing the sexist petition for summary judgment and refusing the defendant's cross-motion for summary judgment. This judgment, according to the agency, strengthens the sex case against Ripple. The sex sued Commonwealth and CO John Rooney in 2019 for breaching federal securities laws via deceptive sales techniques, including substantial misrepresentations and omissions of conflicts of interest. The SEC prevailed in the lawsuit. Most notably, the court dismissed the defendant's procedural claim that the SEC failed to give appropriate notice of the disclosure duties asserted in the complaint. Ripple's fair notice claim, according to the SEC, is as inapplicable as it was on the Commonwealth case. The SEC draws parallels with the Ripple case because Commonwealth similarly contended that a 50-year-old Supreme Court rule on disclosure responsibilities was inadequate to warrant fair notice. The court, however, found in favor of the SEC, holding that fair notice was thus provided. First, it holds that lengthy Supreme Court precedent may offer fair notice, which is similar to the SEC's position in this case that Howie and its progeny presented defendants with sufficient fair notice to defeat their constitutional argument. As a result, the SEC believes that the Commonwealth case offers further authority for dismissing Ripple's fair notice position and granting the SEC's petition for summary judgment. The XARP legal community sees no compelling arguments in the letter. Attorney Jeremy Hogan, as Bitcoinist reported yesterday, sees the technical problem at the core of the case. If Judge Torres understands technology and decentralization, he believes Ripple will win. Australian lawyer Bill Morgan dismissed the sex recent letter, claiming that there is no comparison. If you believe there is a factual similarity between selling an asset like Exerp in a 13-year-old market to buyers to whom it owed no post-sale obligations, and a case in which an investment advisor failed to make all necessary disclosure of potential conflicts of interest from which it benefited to retail investor clients to whom it owed fiduciary duties and whose funds it managed, you should be concerned about the SEC bringing this case to Judge Torres' attention. According to Fred Rispoli, founder of HODL Law, the letter is not super on point, but it might cause a longer delay in the verdict. Judge Torres has always granted the opposing party time to reply to the other party's supplementary brief throughout the proceedings. Ripple could file a response in under two hours, adds Rispoli, who anticipates some delay.